all-knowing and all-powerful, starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 15. As long as we tell the truth, we promise not to kill you. Chen Tian looked at him and said coldly. Of course, he didn't want to let Donald go, but he wanted Uncle Wolf to hear the truth, although he was a traverser who knew the truth in advance, but if he said it, it would make people suspicious. I said, when Donald heard this, it was like grasping a life-saving straw. Even if you know that the other party is very likely to say nothing, there is no other way to do it now. Actually, Laura was bred with jeans. Hearing this, Uncle Wolf's pupils trembled slightly, and the other party also looked at him, and slowly said, it's your jeans. Hear the answer. Logan Howlett was not surprised, he saw many familiar shadows in Laura, even his appearance was somewhat similar to when he was younger. It is only when you hear it with your own ears that you know it in your heart. Originally, the genetic company intended to raise these children to be killers, but then many people got out of control. Donald observed the look on Logan's face and continued cautiously, so now the company intends to kill these experimental subjects, and Laura was rescued by Galilav. In his heart, he was a little afraid that Uncle Wolf would kill people in a rage, after all, Uncle Wolf was also an experimental subject before and he must be extremely hated for what the Genetic Research Institute did. Sure enough, after Logan heard this, the anger that was already burning in his eyes became even stronger, you guys. But before he could make a move, a cold light flashed in front of his eyes. The next moment, a scarlet red gushed out from Donald's neck, feeling the stickiness and warmth coming from his face, and the light of life in his eyes gradually dissipated. Eventually fell and lost his breath. Logan turned his head to look at Chen Tian on the side in surprise. For a moment, he looked at Donald, who was unwilling to die, before saying, if you want to do it next time, tell me in advance. Uncle Wolf, where are you going next? Chen Tian wiped the blood stains on his hands and continued, this place is obviously no longer safe. Quote, the Genetic Research Institute will definitely send people over, and if it is not transferred, it will face a never-ending battle. Go find a place to rest first, and then change cars. Logan replied quietly and walked outside the house. After this battle, Logan obviously recognized this yellow-skinned boy from a convenience store, and the other party had his former shadow. Chen Tian raised his eyebrows slightly, and followed behind him with a leisurely expression. The two walked to the factory room, and the blazing sun above their heads shone brightly, and the strong light made their eyes squint slightly. Just in time to see Caliban who had broken free from his restraints, and was staggering off the escort car. Caliban, I thought you were thrown into that ditch. Logan's words were not nice, but they revealed joy. After several twists and turns, no one died. This is already a great favor for an old wolf who is accustomed to seeing life and death parting. We'll have to change to a safer place. Logan said quietly, forget it. Caliban hesitated for a moment and said rather hesitantly. This time, he no longer wanted to escape, but instead returned to live in the sewers, which was safer. Good luck. Logan saw the emotion in his eyes and nodded. God is with you. Caliban wrapped tightly in the scorching sun, and after saying that, he turned and walked towards the factory. After a simple farewell, Chen Tian and the others took Chrysler and left this place where many unbearable memories were placed. The car sped into bursts of yellow sand, the world in the rearview mirror began to become cloudy, and the factory buildings on the horizon gradually disappeared. It didn't take long for the dilapidated factory building to welcome a burly man. If Logan was still here, he would be shocked. Because, exactly the same as when he was younger. Dot dot dot. Chapter 19. I am Iron Man. Promising American comic career. At this time, in the escort carriage of the Akali Institute, only faint sunlight shone through the narrow window, making the light look gloomy and dim. In the cage, there was a thin figure whose hands and feet were bound by iron chains, and he sat on the ground without the slightest movement. At this time, a figure pushed the car door and walked in, and the light from the outside also spilled in. Les. Caliban raised his head and stood in front of him was a gentle man with his name written on his chest. Caliban, you have to help us find the whereabouts of Wolverine. Dr. Rice squinted hypocritically, and the smile at the corner of his mouth made people feel strangely friendly. Who are you? Caliban was a little scared and asked softly. Not long ago, he had just returned to the factory to pack up and leave, but he was smashed and woke up to find himself in the escort car. I'm Dr. Rice. Dr. Rice smiled and said in a calm tone, those people are too rude, they shouldn't be our friends. What are you looking for me for? Caliban didn't believe that this guy would be friendly, after all, the other party was wearing the clothes of the Genetic Institute. Help me find Wolverine. Dr. Rice mentioned the name, and a dangerous light under his eyes disappeared in a flash. Because, his father used to be the head of the X-Gene project, but was brutally killed by the escaped Wolverine Logan. Since then, he has begun to hate mutants, and even more so Wolverine. Driven by hatred, he searched for as long as Wolverine disappeared. Now that there is finally news, it is bound to make the other party pay a terrible price. If I do it, will I be able to let me go? Caliban sensed the chill under the other party's eyes and asked in a trembling voice. He knows very well that he is not a hero, fears death like most people, and now in order to survive, he can only submit to the enemy. Of course, with such an answer, Dr. Rice said with a smirk. After saying that, he turned and left. As the heavy doors closed heavily, the carriage fell silent, only Caliban's trembling body pulled the chains, making a slight sound, and a heavy breath like death began to permeate. Leaving the escort car, Dr. Rice got into a jeep again. At this time, there was a burly man sitting in the car, looking at the other party's face that made him hate to the bone, Dr. Rice couldn't help but grit his teeth. His appearance turned out to be exactly the same as that of the young Wolverine. Your goal is to kill Rogan. 
Howlett and Charles, Xavier, quote, Dr. Rice's tone was unusually blunt, and his attitude was very firm. The former is to kill his father's enemy, and in order to take revenge, Les has been preparing for many years. The latter is wanted by the government. Ever since Charles lost control, healed hundreds of people and nearly destroyed the X-Men, he has been classified as a weapon of mass destruction. The smartest brain in the world has Alzheimer's syndrome and has become a demented and incompetent old man, which is really funny to think about. Clone X-24 looked calm, did not answer, but nodded silently. Dot dot dot. Meanwhile, in a hotel in a city in New Mexico, Chen Tian and his party simply bought some clothes and temporarily moved in, and under the leadership of Logan, they plan to rest for the night before changing cars. After all, after today's battle, everyone is very tired, and the Chrysler is already full of bullet holes, there is no way to run too far, not to mention, and may attract the police. In that case, things will undoubtedly get very troublesome. Therefore, Chen Tian naturally had no objection to such a decision. Compared with Rogan's hurry, Chen Tian was always leisurely, as if he was out of the matter. Since he knew the original storyline, Chen Tian knew very well what would happen next, so it was useless to hurry. Then, Chen Tian Bai sat bored on the sofa in the living room, picked up the TV remote control on the side, and pressed the switch. There happened to be a piece of news on the TV. The truth is, chapter 1 previous chapter